Alright, what's up everybody? Um, I want to try to put together a positive video. I haven't put together anything in a really long time because I've been going through I've been going through some stuff myself, um, emotionally, psychologically. Um, it's been tough, but uh, right now I just want to talk about some things uh, that have been on my mind a lot um, because of what I've been dealing with and who I've been dealing with to, to create that positive energy back in my life, bring things back to, to family and true friends and to people that I give a shit about. Um, a lot of people are struggling, um, not just financially, not just physically, um, but in the most important way internally, they keep pushing themselves deeper and deeper inside themselves until they break. And uh, it's not cool to see, especially when you're trying to, to help care for a person or, or to be a positive individual in that person or those people's lives. You have to know when to step away, but you have to also know and feel when to truly step further inside because there's a fine line there. Some people really can't be helped. Uh, and it's unfortunately a very disturbing thing. Just keep yourself sane in the process with all this. You really need to to know when to step away. Um, and that's the hardest, the very hardest thing to do um, for a person that's empathetic uh, and really wants to be that knowledge, that power, that opening force to help somebody. My um, struggles over the last few months um, for me have been epic in life. Um, I'm now getting back to myself, starting to realize truly who who I am, what I want to be, and how I want to focus my energy. Um, I love working. Uh, it seems crazy, but I do. It keeps me focused and moving forward in everything that I do. Um, I've had to put all of my art, which is some of that stuff back there, on hold for three months, which has been extremely difficult for me to do also, um, because that's the only thing I really want to be doing. Not being able to do that and just focused on making money to to put myself in a better situation to continue that longevity in in what I call my art career uh, as an artist to heart. So keep your passions true to yourself. Don't lose yourself in life. Everybody's inner child should always be there. That passion you've had forever since you were a little kid what you love, you may forget it, you may never fucking ever um, understand where it went and how it just left, um, but it usually will stay with you, uh, just stay the course as an individual, love yourself, keep your mind free for yourself, and remember, remember, always try and spend time for you. You, I've said this for a long time, if you can focus on yourself, no matter what you have going on with your life, your friends and family, <clears throat> your kids, if you can focus on yourself for one hour a day, whether it's doing research for something, researching your individuality, researching something you want to know about, um, diet, exercise, taking a walk even by yourself for an hour, thinking about things, is going to help you open up your mind um, and really start to see where you've been, where you went wrong, where you've lost yourself, um, and get back to that youth. Don't lose it. Don't let anybody fucking help you lose it. And if you feel that way, 
internally you keep going back inside yourself and just looked at a meme today that said strong people go a very long time without crying but at some point you've been too strong and those tears are going to fall and that's every freaking single person that I know that's strong as they can be strong as an ox I guarantee you the strongest people on this planet have probably cried more than anybody else because emotionally they're able to, to, to grab a hold of that inner self that, that thing inside and then let it go. Open it up. But don't let that go away. None of you. Keep yourself. And I know it's inside. Just keep yourself positive. Grow as an individual. But never lose the passion that you've had as a kid. The passion is where all of your struggles are going to ultimately end up. You're going to think about that in the end, of where everything went, how everything was, and how everything could have been. There's no could have been. There's making yourself understand things happen. Growing through that love for yourself, but keep people in your life you need in your life. Time you will never get back. The time you pushed away from somebody, the time that you could have helped somebody, the time that you wanted the help from somebody but didn't take, you know they were going to give it to you. And it was genuine. Genuine people, again, come into your life. And some people are so involved in worrying about the shit that's going on in their lives that they don't even see those people. They never recognize them as a, as a, a true help. So, keeping this under 10 minutes is kind of tough because there's a lot of shit I want to talk about. Coming up on that 8 minute mark, so let me wrap it up. I have been through some shit. I'm taking myself back to God. I'm taking myself back to, to love myself, caring for myself, but remembering what I have as, as far as responsibilities go. And I know there's some people I want to help out in my life. And that's just who I am as a person. Um, you know, my kids, my family. And I'm keeping them here. Keeping them right inside here. Until I can't anymore. And that's the passion. My art. And me. Family and kids. And a few individuals that I really give a shit about. So. Keep you. Love God. Respect yourself enough to be honest with yourself. And don't let anybody fucking walk all over you. Because they will. And if they're not true to themselves. With what they're doing. If they truly don't want to be themselves with what they're doing. They're not going to help you. They're going to have this mask on, just like this. Not even going to see what's going on with you. They're not going to ask about what's going on with you. You know, when that blinder comes off and they really see what's going on, they're lost. They don't know which direction to turn because they're not true with themselves. So be true to you, honest with you, love God, respect you. And things will happen in a positive way, in a, in a very positive way. That's all. Um, Indianapolis, uh, I'm back. Anybody that doesn't know to that, that I'm back in India, I wanted to say, hey, first off, peace, love and prosperity to all that want to have that in life. A um, few shout outs to some people. That have really helped me from a distance. Uh, Ashley Hodge, Mindy McKinney, um, Angie Mendez, uh, some other people, my mom, of course, all my family. Um, I love you guys and um, stay truth. Peace.